Okay, we have passed Tylo. Just prospectively, before we decide to do any more burns that might condemn this whole business, let's say we want to leave and go to Kerbin right now. That's a Kerbin Tangent Orbit, and it costs 1765 Now, we don't have a particularly great orbit right now to begin with, and that wasn't a great point I picked, but it's worth thinking about. No, we certainly don't have the encounter we were getting before. I can't tell when we can get a Leif encounter. Leif is usually pretty trolly. 2A and 2B are pretty close there now. Aha, aha, aha. Well, that bodes. This, if we could get close to Jewel, that's not too bad. We want our Apoapsis to be on this side. Well, that wouldn't be too bad if we weren't crashing into Jewel. Let's see. That's nice. Um, so that's a pretty good setup for this. But that doesn't help our space plane. Now, can the space plane get into that orbit after it breaks Leif orbit? That's the question. So, let's hop over to the space plane and find out. Yes, you. Now, it's only got 1,500, so that's one problem. Oh, I don't know. That's a horrible place to do a burn, but... I think that's the only place... We'd like to do it at periapsis, not up there. Nah, no, we want the apoapsis to be on this side. Um, but it's possible. Let's have that one get over here first. And maybe the time to break orbit with this will be about the same time as that arrives. It's a theory. So let's do this first. Now, okay, maybe that's not where we want the apoapsis either, though. It's still on that side. We want to encounter Leif when Leif's over here. I can't see the periapsis, but I think this is better. Because our apoapsis is on that side. Just watch, by the time Kerbin gets into the right position, they'll be wrong and you'll actually supposed to have had the apoapsis on this side. But the problem is I can't plan too late because Tylo might throw us off. Because we have a orbit that touches Tylo's, so we rather be down here sooner. I think the space plane was going to get into a 7,000 kilometer one. Okay, so right now, prospectively, let's say we were trying to depart Jewel from here and trying to get back to Kerbin. So that takes 1,400 to get... Uh, I think that's actually Eve's orbit. To get to Kerbin's orbit. 1,264. Well, we're passing by at 924 kilometers, but right now what I want to do is actually go to the space plane. Okay. So these guys, currently very close to Lathe. Let's see about their departure. That's a periapsis there. That seems a little bit better. But that's a high jewel periapsis. And we, we probably can't get it any better. Because we had to get to the location on the surface. I wish they'd keep the monuments and such marked. I don't know why they have to make those things disappear, but... Yeah. Because of the particular location on the surface we had to get to. We are in this orbit. And it's inconvenient. So, the pod is just passing by. We... Presumably, you don't have to pay attention to that. We'll just focus on this exiting lathe. I really wish we could have picked up the fuel from the other shuttle, though. We clearly need it. Oh, 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 what, 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 what? Hmm? Oh, wait, we need to control from here. Haha. <laughs> it's still controlling from the docking port. Okay, so let's say we're in that orbit, which we will end up being in, and we wanted to depart.
That's costing too much. Well, this is why we have to have it rendezvous with the pod, because this doesn't have quite enough without taking the fuel from the spa other space plane. No fuel. So, we're going to get the pod to rendezvous with this, pick up as many Kerbals as possible, and bring them back. And I'm going to allow my Twitch audience to decide whether we leave Zombie Jeb, who was supposed to have perished anyway, or Shandas, who sneaked on board when we didn't realize it. So, stream poll time. Okay, unfortunately our inclinations aren't great. And Jewel changing inclinations is tough. But we might as well use this thing, since we've decided that this is not coming back because it doesn't have enough fuel to come back, it can do all the maneuvers necessary for the rendezvous. Hmm... Maybe we should just... that that's a little bit low. Let me correct the inclination first. Let's see how much that costs. There's so many different encounter thingies. There's two one A's. Though this gonna maybe be a second res rescue mission. We have to land on Paul again anyway. So we've already got a mission for that. That has more peculiarities. Anyway. Except to see the relative inclination going down. Okay, it's not keeping track of anything. Oh no, we're crashing into Leif there. Um, okay, that boosts higher. And saves us from the Leif encounter. It's the direction we're going out anyway, so it's not gonna hopefully cause too much of a problem later on. Okay. Safe for now, let's go back here. Little dots are definitely not coming together very easily here. Well, at some point these things must phase, right? In theory. <laughs> In theory. What's that ascending node anyway? There's a dotted line here and an ascending node there. I don't know what the deal with that node is. Okay, so we're going to be going slower. It's gonna catch up to us. But it'll have to like be double our um, the half our orbital period basically. We're keeping an eye on Leaf trying to do stuff. Uh, there's that Leif encounter that I don't want it to have. It's pretty loose there. Uh, that still maintains a tangency to the other mission. I guess that's our best thing. So we will pass by Leif, but we'll pass by Leif so that it just does a radial thing to us. Darn it, we're this close. Okay, swinging by Leif. We are contractually obligated to look at it. Leif. They've almost interfered with us, too. It's that close. Anyway, I'm just misreading all the dots, but my excuse is that it ain't super clear. Uh, it looks like we're leaving Jeb at Jewel. So Jeb actually has to get in here, and the other three go into the other pod. <laughs> well, now that we're on this side, let's get Jeb over to the space plane. Uh, okay, poor Jeb. Well, I mean, zombie Jeb anyway, but... Jeb wasn't even involved in the space plane thing. 
Sean Das is so lucky. Sean Das was the hitchhiker and actually gets a ride back. Yes. Okay, so we have Sean Das, Shalkin, and Hudlin in here. And they will try to make their way back while Jeb is stranded. And for all I know, Jeb is gonna get flung to horrible places by Lathe because uh, Jeb's orbit still passes Lathe's orbit. And we have no way of fixing that. Well, Kerbin's supposed to be 48 degrees behind, and as it just so happens, it seems to be about right, just eyeballing it. Let's try and come back. Our apoapsis is just a little bit off to one side here. That's enough to ruin things, but anyway, like that. So it's not ideal anymore. Now oh, that timing seems horribly off, but uh, let's see. They might not be coming back at this rate. Uh, right. Now, that's still a little bit far. And we're using all but 55 of our Delta V. No, there's a Kerbin encounter. It's gonna use all my Delta V, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and the maneuver won't even be accurate. Okay, well, that's probably good enough. But let's get out of here. Let's get out of here finally. I see you, Lathe. Causing all this trouble. Okay, well, we're going. Oh, well, good, it's not keeping track of it. Well, we wouldn't want it to do that, would we? We're all packed in. There's three of them right there. They're all happy for some reason. <laughs> oh, look, it's already in red. Uh, because it thinks we won't have enough. Leif, Tylo, Yule. I haven't seen Val up close yet, I don't think. In KSP2, I mean. That descending node floating out there, that makes me unhappy. Okay, well, there we go. Let's try that. Yeah, boy, is the YouTube audience gonna be thankful that this gets edited down to 20 minutes. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're gonna try a mid-course correction. Is that really in 20? No, it's probably a year and 20 days, right. Okay, we'll fine-tune it once we get there. All right, one meter per second mid-course correction. And we are departing Jewel by the skin of our teeth here. Three of them departing Jewel. Jeb remains. Okay. There's Val there, but we didn't visit this time. Oh, the shuttle is entering Leaf SOI. What may or may not happen to Jeb? Wheel! Crashing trajectory, uh-oh. Oh, I guess we have to look. Okay, let, let's see what's happening with Jeb. Might have already happened. It might be past tense. Well, there's two pieces of debris there. That's ominous. I don't see Jeb anymore. I think Jeb crashed into Jewel. Or Lathe. I'm not sure. Well, um... Jeb was sort of a zombie anyway, so it's fine, I guess? I wish we knew what happened to him, though. Oh, wait. Things... Uh, just don't... Mess with my approach, okay? Well, we better take a look at what's actually happening when we do it. No, I'll try RCS. Uh, but yeah, the fact that only some of the stuff fires is why it's sort of reluctant. Okay. Well, that'll do for now. We'll adjust it more once we get there. Okay, 
we are on our way to Kerbin. May the heat shield hold out. I mean, it did fine coming back from Elu, so, and we've come back from Jewel before, I think. Um, so, should be okay, right? Surely it's not going to be inconsistent, right? Out of communication range now? I'm going to go with my usual 26 kilometers. I don't need this pause. <laughs> Game. So. Alright. Off go off goes that thing. Uh oh. That was quick. No ablative resource? We've got ablator right here. I'm confused. Well, we are slowing down. We should come straight down. I don't know why it says no ablative resource. And I didn't use any ablator either. That's confusing. Well, that was simple. <laughs> okay. But some people have had trouble with that. I. I I haven't, but some people have. I think. Okay, parachute deployment. Parachute deployment? <laughs> I was pressing spacebar game. You're supposed to do the parachutes when I do that. Whatever. Alright, 9.5 meters per second. The ground is there. Well, it's a little bit rough, 9 meters per second. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Recover vessel at long last. These three are back. And we got science points. We we needed to bring them back because we needed the science, you see? Now we have 4,521 science. And, well, most of the technologies we want now have way more than that. But, anyway, we got the science back. And if we take a look at mission control... We still have a lot of secondary missions. Oh, um, sample report of the strange creature on Leif, we can submit that. So we got that part. Seems to be real, yes. Megafauna. Yes, definitely megafauna, not megaflora. Space monsters, yes. So there's a lot of secondary missions. We gotta activate a jet engine on Leif? Well, you could have given that. We just did that. We did that. Anyway. Perform a sample survey of a strange fossil on Bop. Well, we haven't been to Bop yet, so that's okay. Radiation observation in the lowlands of Paul. Rover on Elu. Planet flag on the Eye of Drez. And so we've basically got secondary missions for like everything. Including the dastardly one about Eve. Uh, let me take a look at the Kerbal, Kerbal Manager and check. Uh, so, yeah. I think if Jeb was still alive, it would state that he was... I don't know. I don't know if Phil, uh, the Kerbal Manager would have a different location where Jeb was. But I think that's implying that Jeb is not alive. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's another way to check the status of our Kerbals. Yeah, I think we have to assume that Jeb perished either in the atmosphere of Leith or in Jewel. It said, the last thing it said about him was that the vessel was on a crash course, but we didn't get to him in time to see what happened. Was Jedred always here? Maybe? Or is Jedred like Jed re uh, Jeb reincarnate. Or 
Jeb's kid or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough torture for today. I'll wrap it up here and say thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.